What is up guys, Sayyid here. In this video, I'll be doing my honest review for the HTC One M8. Now, before going into the review, I would like to thank Fazbear Communications for providing me with the review unit for a week time. I'll be leaving the links in the description, so do check out the description uh, for the best deals in mobiles and tablets and do check out the website. Now, before going to the review, I have uh, I will be giving you my final word for this phone to uh, buy it or not. Now, I have divided it into two things here. The first one is the camera. For instance, like uh, if you are a camera lover and you want to take uh, photo or videos uh, from your smartphone, this is not for you. The, the camera quality on HTC One M8 is worst as per my opinion. The second thing is that if you don't, uh, if the camera quality doesn't matter to you and uh, you just like the build quality, the snappy experience, then uh, this phone is for you. So go ahead with this phone. Now, the pros and cons of this phone, as far as my opinion, this phone is the best phone available in the market. The build quality, each and everything, the snappy experience, uh, the battery life, uh, and also the app compatibility. As you know, that it comes with the latest version of Android 4.4.0. So each and everything is great for this smartphone as I didn't find any lag using the uh, HTC One M8 for a week time and the battery life is awesome as I'm, I'm a constant user and the battery life for me is it gave around one and a half day with excessive use uh, along with the power saving mode and uh, also my uh, in my previous video you can see that I have switched from iOS to Android and the reasons are uh, in the video I'll be leaving that video link in the description so do check out that video also the thing the only thing that dragged me away from the HTC one I made is the camera quality I didn't like the camera quality available on the HTC one I made uh, for instance I have compared the camera quality with my iPhone 5s I'll be leaving the link also in the description so do check it out uh, as per my opinion the camera quality on the iPhone 5s is superior than the M8 as I don't know why HTC when people went again with the 4 ultra pixel camera they would have just bumped up more 4 megapixel and uh, just 8 pix 8 uh, sensors something like that but they went with the 4 ultra pixel which uh, is a downside for this phone as you can see the build quality as I am just zooming it a little bit and you can see the build quality the each and every, every detail is precise and also excellent and also I will be giving you the reason for the best phone available in the market of HTC One M8 is the boom, spons, boom sound speakers these are the best speakers that you can get the sound quality out of a smartphone and uh, every smartphone in the market should have this uh, boom sound speakers uh, so that you can get the best audio and also your recorded video quality uh, through your smartphone so this phone is a must uh, go for a user if they don't mind about the camera as uh, I really I the camera is important for me so that's why I went the Galaxy S5 apart from the camera quality the snappy experience the best you can get or from a smartphone and as per my opinion this is the best available smartphone uh, in the market with the latest version of uh, Android so this was my review of the HTC One I made. This is the best phone I from uh, um, my point of view as I'm an iOS user, excessive iOS user. This phone has changed the way I have always seen Android. So if you guys like my video, if you like the video, please do give it a thumbs up and also do follow me on Twitter, Instagram and Google Plus for the latest content that I will be uploading onto my YouTube channel. Till then, I'll be seeing you in my next video.